For patients with end-stage kidney disease, kidney transplant serves as one of the best treatment options. Although there are multiple benefits of this treatment, the process can be affected by many complications. One of the most common adverse effects of transplant is rejection. Interestingly, there are many different types and presentations of kidney transplant rejection. As physicians learn more about the various forms of rejection, the need for a unified system to categorize the type of rejection and hence the side mode of treatment became apparent. Thus, in 1991, medical professionals from various specialties came together in Banff, Canada to do just this and they created the Banff classification of allograft pathology. Ever since, this conference has been held for updates every two years. Today, this system serves as the international universal assessment tool for kidney transplant rejection. To define the exact type of rejection, a renal biopsy must be performed to collect a sample of tissue. This sample is then prepared on a slide and examined more thoroughly under the microscope. When examining for rejection under a microscope, the pathologist examines the structure involved, the type of cellular changes and damage occurring, and the implication of the damage. Based on these characteristics, the appropriate treatment modality can be selected. Thus, to unify, the Banff classification of allograft pathology created Banff codes, which are one to three letter codes that represent various involved parts, including the glomerulus, the renal tubules, and the renal vasculatures, including arteries, peritubular capillaries, and finally, the interstitial tissue. According to the severity, the letters are labeled with numbers, one for mild, two for moderate, and three for severe. So what are these letter codes? The following is a brief explanation of each of the bank codes organized by structure involved. In the glomerulus, we have G, CG, and MM. G for glomerulitis, which represents the accumulation of white blood cells within the glomerulus called leukocyte margination, and this is a marker of humoral or antibody-mediated rejection. CG stands for transplant glomeropathy. This represents the thickening of the glomerular basement membrane, which can cause protein leakage in urine and increase the risk of developing antibodies against the kidney transplant. MM stands for mesangial matrix expansion. That represents the thickening of the mesangial tissue of the glomerulus, which is indicative of damage to the small blood vessels in this region of the kidney. Moving to the renal tubules, we have two codes, T and CT. T for tubulitis. This represents the presence of inflammatory cells within the renal tubules, which can also be seen with cellular rejection or a viral infection. CT stands for tubular atrophy. This represents the degeneration of renal tubules, which indicates chronic damage. Moving on to the interstitial tissue, we have two codes, I and CI. I stands for interstitial inflammation, and that represents the presence of inflammatory cells within the interstitium, which can be seen with cellular rejection or a viral infection, similar to the T. The other code is CI, which stands for interstitial fibrosis, and that represents the replacement of normal support tissue with supportive connective tissue, which is seen with chronic injury. The fourth component in the Banff classification is the vasculature, which has four codes. V, PTC, CV, AH. V stands for arterial inflammation. That represents the presence of inflammatory changes in the arterial wall, which can be seen with humoral rejection. PTC stands for peritubular capillaritis, and that represents the presence of inflammatory cells in the peritubular capillaries. This can also be seen with humoral rejection. Just keep in mind with bioimmunofluorescence here, the C4D will be positive. The third code is the CV, which means arterial fibrointimal thickening. This represents the expansion of the intima between the endothelium and the media, which serves as a marker for chronic damage. The fourth code in the vasculature is AH, which is arterial hyalinosis. That represents nodular accumulation of a clear substance known as hyaline, and this is a nonspecific finding but can be seen with immunosuppressive medications, particularly calcineurin inhibitors or CNIs. Finally, some closure pearls. Remember, one letter indicate acute, I, T, G, or V. Two letters indicate chronicity, CI, CT, CG, MM, CV, and AH. 
Three letters indicate antibody-mediated rejection, PTC or C4D. You may, however, find PTC or G or any other code, but not necessarily associated with rejection or infection, and it might be a nonspecific finding. Lastly, numbers 1 is mild, 2 is moderate, and 3 is severe. One last pearl in arterial hyalinosis or any arterial damage or chronic arterial or vasculature involvement with no rejection, calcineurin inhibitor, including the tacrolimus and cyclosporin minimization or sparing protocols, might be beneficial on the long-term survival of the graft because those medicines cause severe vasoconstriction of the afferent arterioles and affect the vessels of the kidney. So here's an example of how Banff is reported by the pathologist. And this is a table summarizing the Banff interpretations and suggested management. Thanks and talk soon.